But as interacting with Mimi, she was she is amazing. So what she did was she had a terrible background and a really challenging upbringing, and she did um, her GCSEs literally by candlelight in a bed sit and got nearly straight A's. Phenomenally intelligent, high IQ, just didn't understand the opportunities, and things were going a little bit bad, and we. We helped and mentored, and she's still an amazing person in our life. We absolutely adore her. But I saw the fact that the bureaucracy she had to do. Yeah. Now, she's a bright, smart, hardworking, high IQ individual, and she couldn't deal with it. Yeah. And I went, if she can't deal with it, who can? When it comes to bureaucracy, and this is a really important point, I can't do anything about how much people get on low incomes. I can march, I can vote, I can do lots of different things. But what I can do is the bureaucracy administration. There's no form you and I fill out, or any of the, or, or most of the people who are watching this fill out, that if you get wrong, you are homeless or you don't eat. Just imagine that. A massive form that if you get wrong, you are homeless or don't eat. Now imagine that stress. Oh. Imagine, right, that the person at the other end mis misreads something, and then you have to go through appeal and everything else. I've got this like line. You see Daily Mail headlines scream, oh, if you just reduce bureaucracy on businesses and individuals, you'll open up enterprise and you open yeah. up opportunities. And I turned and said, I completely agree. Let's start with the poor first. Yeah. Right? Now, what AI can do is reduce massively that complexity to an extent that the state would be worried. Mm -hmm. Because you're giving that AI to collect that information in a way that the state cannot turn down. Right? In <laughs> fact, that's what we want to do. In which case, that fulfills that Daily Mail headline, but it also fulfills the sort of the centre right and the centre left about it about these people accessing that knowledge and making decisions what's best for them. I am not out to help. I am to give them these tools and services so they can make decisions best for them because right now they haven't got it, and it is an unequal game, right? And they and what I'm saying is that we need to absolutely level the playing field. All the technology I have at my fingertips are is amazing. Anywhere from mental health to doctors to create my own little video to finance to everything. Okay. They don't have that. And that, to me, is an, and I won't say moral because I'm not being a good person. I've got to keep on saying this. It is an opportunity. It is an underserved sector. Mm -hmm.